they don't talk about bad things. You see, sometimes they want to communicate with bad things. They can't because they, they also don't know English. Yes. HIV is quite uh, a spread in the compound. Mm -hmm. uh, and tuberculosis also, because uh, all that for me, uh, the, the, the tuberculosis touch, touch the sanitary uh, things. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, it's not only on this compound, this, uh, HIV is a bit uh, spread here in Zambia. But what we try to do hmm, is uh, information, education. That's why we have a workshop. Workshop for couples. Workshop for those who are sick. Workshop for the youth, behavior change, and so on. Uh, so through all those workshops we have been doing since a few years already, I think uh, a certain conscientization has been established, such a way that uh, even those who have HIV are not, uh, I would say, afraid that it was in the past to, uh, to be seen as such. And we have, at the home basic care, we have a small laboratory where they can come, uh, paying nothing, they can just come to be tested. And uh, they are, you have counselors, uh, before to be tested, they go to the counselors, and after to be tested, whatever it is, it is through the counselors. And if they are uh, declared positive, uh, we send them at the clinic where uh, now they can receive the medication appropriate uh, that is known for the time being. The main thing we do here is uh, to go into the community because uh, in this in this country, you know, HIV has been taken as a, you know, a, it's very much stigmatized. And so that's why we, we, this office was brought here at HBC, so that we can be able to go into the community and uh, try to give people the right information that an HIV positive person is just like anybody else. You know, they can live a, a productive life and even maybe to sensitize the, 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 the community that they should not stigmatize on people who are HIV positive because those people they need the support, they need their support. <laughs> discriminated upon. You find things like if maybe the, the family uh, before they knew that he was HIV positive, uh, when they know that the, the person is HIV positive, they will discriminate, they will give him things like uh, they would not want to eat with him, you know, because they feel that he, by eating with him they, they're going to get the HIV. They would not want to sleep with them in the same bed because they feel that if they, if they sleep with them, they're going to get the HIV. They would even give them their separate, separate plates, cups, and maybe even label them, you know, and say maybe D, which means it's for death. This person is dying anytime. So you can imagine what type of it's, uh, stigma that is or discrimination that is. And if that person is HIV positive and, and then again, you know, knowing that uh, from the start, HIV, before, before people knew about it, there was information of saying you can just get information just maybe by sex, you see. So sometimes, uh, you know, we try to tell people that you can get HIV through a lot of things maybe by using the same laser bridge, you know, because see, some people they go, when they are sick, they go to see the witch doctors. So you find the witch doctor blind them, you know, and then use the same laser, you know, 
to, to do the tattoos so that he, they, they, they put the medication there on the tattoos. So sometimes, uh, just like that, you can get HIV. So because of uh, you have to give them such type of information so that they know that uh, you can get HIV in a lot of ways, not just by uh, having sex. So now what we do is we use the drama group to bring the people together in the same arena and then you know do a sketch. Uh, if you are going to do a sketch on a person who is the HIV positive being discriminated upon or a person who is the TB, who is having TB discriminated upon, so you have to do a sketch on that so that they can see, because if they see for themselves then they can know that he, after all, I'm doing something like this. I've been doing something like this to my friends, so I should not do it again. The message is being learned because when we come from, from the community to do sensitization, maybe like today we have been in the community doing sensitization, so maybe in the afternoon you start seeing some people coming here not to, to find out more about what we were talking about. Maybe some of them would even come here and get the medical doctor here to go into the community, maybe to go and see somebody there so that at least they can get help. So you see, it's doing a lot of work. It's doing a lot of So Kanayaka in the real sense means, you know, the light is on, which means if you look at a, a person who is HIV positive, the people will just say, ah, you see, the light is on, which means that person is, is, is HIV positive. So we would like to, you know, to scratch that name, Kanayaka, you know, the light is on, you know, people should, should not be looking at it that way, you know. What they should be looking at is if they are HIV positive, they should look for help. <laughs> Also, a person who is living with HIV, I'm also HIV positive, and I have been living with the virus for 12 years now, and that's why I have been brought in this community to try to talk to the people, you know, so that they can see the role model in me, you know, so that when I give them the information, I can be able to tell them there's nothing you can fear, you know, if you can come for medication and have all the information you need. You can still look like me because if I didn't tell you that I was HIV positive, you wouldn't know. 